Today's question is, should a Christian play video games? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Completed nearly 2,000 years ago, God's Word does not explicitly teach whether or not a Christian should play video games, but the Bible's principles still apply today regarding the best use of our time. When God shows us that a specific activity is controlling our lives, we should break away from it for a time. This fast could be from food, movies, TV, music, video games, anything that distracts our attention from knowing and loving God and serving His people. While some of these things may not be bad in and of themselves, they become idols if they distract us from our first love. Revelation chapter 2 verse 4. Following are some principles to consider whether the question is regarding video games, TV, movies, or any other earthly pursuit. First, will video games edify or merely entertain me? To edify means to build up. Will playing video games build up your love for God, knowledge of Him, and ministry to others? Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 23 and 24. When God gives us relaxation time, we should find uplifting activities to enjoy. Do we choose permissible over praiseworthy activities? When we have a choice between good, better, and best, we should choose the best. Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 through 17. Second, will playing video games obey self-will or God's will? God's will for his children can be summed up in his greatest commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Luke chapter 10 verse 27. Our will has been polluted by sin. Because we have been saved from our selfish desires, we should surrender our will. Philippians chapter 3 verses 7 through 9. God's will transforms our will. Psalm chapter 143 verse 10. Progressively, His desires for us become our deepest desires as well. Many people believe the will of God is boring and humiliating. They picture a monk in a lonely monastery or a resentful church janitor. On the contrary, people who follow God's will for their lives are the most joyful, adventurous people ever. Reading biographies of history's heroes such as Hudson Taylor, Amy Carmichael, Corey Ten Boom, and George Mueller will verify that. Certainly, these saints face difficulty from the world, their own flesh, and the devil. They may not have had much of this world's possessions, but God accomplished great works through them. At first, His will seems impossible and too holy to be any fun, but God will give us the power to perform it and the desires to delight in it. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Psalm chapter 40, verse 8. Third, does the video game glorify God? Some video games glorify violence, lewdness, and dumb decisions. For example, I'm out of the race, so I'll just wreck my car. As Christians, our activities should bring glory to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. And help us to grow in the knowledge and grace of Christ. Fourth, will playing video games result in good works? For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Laziness and selfishness violate God's purpose for us to do good works to others. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58. Fifth, will playing video games exhibit self-control? Many people have said that video games can become an addiction or an obsession. There is no room in the Christian life for such things. Paul compares the Christian life to an athlete disciplining his body so he may win the prize. Christians have a greater motivation to live a set-apart life of self-control, eternal reward in heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 25-27. through 27. 6. Will playing video games redeem the time? You will give account for how you use your limited minutes. Spending hours at a time playing a video game can hardly be called a good use of time. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. 
Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 through 17. Live for the rest of the time in the flesh, no longer for human passions, but for the will of God. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 2. Seventh, does it pass the test of Philippians chapter 4, verse 8? Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. When you play video games, is your mind focused on godly or secular things? Eighth, will playing video games fit in with my life purpose? Paul wrote that in the final days, people would be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 4. Western culture fits that description. We love to play. Non-Christians become addicted to entertainment such as movies, sports, and music because they do not have a purpose higher than to enjoy life before death. These amusements cannot truly satisfy. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 1. When Christians become addicted to the same things as non-Christians, can we truly say that we are exhibiting the new life in a crooked and deprived generation in which you shine like stars in the universe? Philippians chapter 2, verse 15. Or do we prove to others that we are really no different than they are and that Christ has not made a significant difference in our lives? Paul considered knowing, loving, and obeying God to be his highest priority. I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish, that I may gain Christ. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his suffering, becoming like him in his death. Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 through 10. Will playing video games be showing my love for God or my love for the things of the world? 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. And ninth, will playing video games give me an eternal focus? Christians have hope of eternal rewards in heaven if they are faithful on earth. See Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. If we focus on living for eternity rather than the passing pleasures of earth, we will have surrendered resources, time, and hearts for ministry. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. If our possessions or activities cause us to lose our eternal rewards, of what worth are they? Luke chapter 12, verses 33 through 37. Christians often try to serve both God and their own desires, but Jesus clearly stated, no one can serve two masters. Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. God gives us joy through times of work and rest. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 19. We must find that balance between labor and recreation. When we do set aside time for relaxation, as Jesus did in Mark chapter 6, verse 31, we should choose an edifying activity. The question is not, can I play video games, but would video games be the best choice? Will this edify me, show love to my neighbor, and glorify God? We are to pursue praiseworthy activities, not simply permissible ones. However he leads you, passionately follow him above all else. Prepare for eternity. Every sacrifice will seem insignificant when we meet Jesus. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit GodQuestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There is one book I recommend along with several related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, you got questions? The Bible has answers and will help you find them.